By default, data groups are formed by putting identical values into each group. Although the grid provides a few other built-in algorithms, sometimes you need to implement your own logic, which is done using the custom column group event. You'll learn how to handle this event in order to change a numeric column's data grouping logic so that groups contain ranges of values starting with 0 to 99.99, then 100 to 199.99, and so on. When I group the grid's data against the order sum column, by default, groups are formed based on unique values in that column. Let's switch to design time, and first, enable custom sorting mode for this column by setting the sort mode property to custom. After that, select the grid view and handle its custom column group event. The column being processed is specified by the event's column parameter. The event handler compares two rows with values specified by the value 1 and value 2 parameters. Since I combine values into groups corresponding to hundreds, I divide the values by 100 and compare the results. To place all values above 1000 into the same group, the handler assumes that results are equal if they're both greater than 10. The result parameter is set to 0 in that case. Other values undergo standard comparison. The event's handled parameter is set to true to prevent the default comparison mechanism from being invoked after event execution. To better illustrate how this code works, the grouping column value should be visible even when data is grouped. To enable this behavior, expand Options view and set the Show Grouped Columns option to true. Now run the application and group grid data by the order sum column. As a result, rows are combined into the specified intervals. However, group rows display the first value in a corresponding group, thus misleading end users. This can also be fixed. Let's return to design time and subscribe to the custom column display text event. I check the event's column and is for group row parameters. The first parameter specifies the column currently being processed, while the second parameter indicates whether the event is called to customize a group row's display text. The group row handle parameter returns the currently processed group row. To change the group row's display text, I use the event's display text parameter. And let's run the application and group data by the order sum column once again. Group rows will now display custom text that correctly identifies the intervals.